P43, which is our smallest boat, could have 200 looms, 200 wiring harnesses. A 40 meter, you're getting up to 800 plus. And that will be a variable figure depending on the options that are specified by the customer. We call it looming because we make cable harnesses. And when that's finished, it is a loom, which is then assembled and put in a boat. All the cables and wiring, we reassemble, finish it, and then it's presented to fit out, who then brought all the services in. It's a very complicated engineering feat. It is all about right first time. The development engineer will come up with a draft wiring diagram, and then that's presented to the loom shop. Then they have to interpret that, read that, and make a harness. There will be a set of marker points or datums which relate to certain areas in the boat. Each of the wires are then identified, detailing what circuit and what potential circuit breaker or anything that it connects to. And if wiring is made correctly, all the drop-offs on that wiring harness will be at the switch points and service areas when it's just a case of connecting. Development by its own nature is fairly fluid. The designs might change in mid-build and that might result in a new harness or wiring. And that's what makes the loom shop exciting to deal with because never building the same boat twice. You have to think on your feet, go with whatever the customer requires and make sure we can match our expectations with the equipment that they want.